Boom, we're live. Welcome everybody to the Wisdom Movement Method Podcast. I'm your host, Brian Wisdom. Today, we're gonna talk about why the 50 plus population should not punt on their health, what you can do about it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day and we were both talking about some individuals that we know in our 70s and both of us are approaching that 50 year old mark. So I'm 45, we're both uh, approaching 50 years old. And it was interesting, he said a phrase that probably many people will know what it will mean and I'll, I'll kind of uh, break it down too in terms of what it means. But he said something that was very simple. He said, you know, he said, I got a family member that uh, has been very successful and he said it's very hard to watch them because they punted on their health, successful in business, successful in work and life, and um, punted on health and continue to punt on health. What does that mean? You know, in the football terms, basically the team has given up trying to get a first down and they decide to punt. They decide to give up at that moment and give the ball back to the other team and let the defense step in and see what they can do. But they're essentially offensively giving up and playing proactive. And we know watching football through the years, how often does the team that starts to play prevent defense stop, they give up making forward progress, and oftentimes they lose the game. It's, it's very, very common. I thought that was kind of a cool analogy and I'll tell you what I'm seeing firsthand and, um, things that have been, you know, shocking. In 2020, you know, people would come in at the end of 2020, it would not be crazy for somebody to put on somewhere between 15 and I think 33 pounds was the most that I saw. Someone that had put on 33 pounds in about a year of being act in inactive, not active. But fast forward that to present day now in 2022, we're almost in 2023. I've seen as much as the number was around 80 pounds, 75 to 80 pounds an individual put on since 2020. Now that is a lot of weight to put on. And the question I asked back to, you know, individuals out here listening is, you know, have you punted on your health in that 50 plus population that you're in, maybe you're in that retirement age, or maybe you just punted on health for the last couple of years. And some kind of scary anecdotal statistics is, you know, I've definitely heard more people having sudden death that has been unexplained. And I mean, honestly, that's kind of scary. And it's, it's not like one time. I'm hearing more and more often that somebody, they're just not waking up. I mean, think about that. Do you know somebody that you've seen their health go downhill in the last couple of years? Have, maybe it's even you or someone you love where you've noticed a drastic drop in their health or have you noticed somebody pass away suddenly? It's scary. And I think to unpack it over the last two and a half years, one thing that I've been really vocal about is taking care of your health during this time, not punting on your health, not, well, I'm going to just, I'm going to stay in. Okay. I'm going to stay in for X amount of time. And then staying in has extended and extended and extended and not training, not challenging your body, not exercising. And, and I've noticed this even with myself, you know, if, if we're not challenging even our immune systems in terms of being around other people, what happens is our immune system gets weaker. But it happens with our physical body in the same way. So, you know, think about it. Have you punted on your health? Have you noticed other people that their health has deteriorated? And now that the question is like, okay, well, what do we do about it? What do we do about it? if you're in this situation? It is what it is. You can't change the past. But what you certainly can do is be 
real with yourself in the current situation that you are in. And then focus on making change, making behavior changes, consistent behavior changes. You know, I don't know. Is it, is it hard for you to wake up in the morning? I think David Goggins says, has a great line with that. He's a famous ultra marathon runner and former Navy SEAL that if getting up in the morning is difficult, it's a shift in your mind. It's, just, it's what you do now. You just get up. You just get up. You just start getting up on time every time. And it's what you do. And it's a pattern. It's a pattern. It's a pattern. It's a pattern. And it becomes consistent. So, you know, maybe you're in that camp where you've just been off the rails. You haven't been exercising. You haven't been walking. You haven't been training. You haven't been eating well. And by the way, these are things that I hear every single day as, I'm, as we're helping people here every so common literally and if it's not every day it's you know three four times a week every week i hear this stuff so what do you do about it well i think it starts first with building in activity on a daily basis and in the 50 plus population you have to find the right style and type of activity that's going to help you and work with you and strengthen your body. So if you're in the 50 plus population, jumping into a hardcore boot camp, probably not a good idea, especially if you do not have a base. If you do not have a good functional base, a knowledge of training, and you go into a hardcore boot camp with 40 people, don't be surprised if you get injured, dinged up, and then you're two steps back from the start. You're one step forward, two steps back. So I think it's, Start something consistent that you can maintain over time. Like maybe that's walking every day, five or six days a week. You definitely got to start doing strength training. You want to get coaching on how to lift weights to challenge your body. You want to get somebody that knows how to help you. And maybe you are comfortable with that, but, and, and great. If that's the case, put that in your schedule the days that you're going to train. I mean, part of it is breaking out of the habits that were created over the last couple of years, creating new habits. They're going to help you to live healthy and active for the rest of your life. The other piece I'll say as well, that is important that I talk about a lot on here is posture, joint range of motion and strength training intensity. So making sure you're doing exercises to work on strengthening your posture because maybe you're in that camp where you have not only been isolated, which we know psychologically is not good for us, but maybe you're sitting now way more than you ever did in the past. Maybe now it's Zoom calls and working from home and you don't even walk in the office where in the old days you would have parked your car, had to walk into the office, walk to your car to go to lunch, walk back into work, walk back home, you know, head back after work is over. So you still might have gotten 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, maybe 10,000 steps pre 2020. And now maybe you're getting two or 3,000 steps, which is not enough, by the way. But I mean, that's man, nine or 10,000 steps on a daily basis is still something versus complete inactivity. So finding ways to make exercise a habit, working on your posture. So there's exercise you can do to work on your posture, your joint range of motion so that you're staying healthy in that 50 plus population as you get older. Very, very, very important. And then making sure that you start lifting weights and that the weight training, the exercise selection is going to work on strengthening your posture, work on strengthening your joint range of motion, work on strengthening your bones, helping to put lean muscle on because we know that in that 50 plus population, we're losing muscle. We're losing our postural position. We're losing bone density. So all these things are factors in 
you being successful. But my question to you right now is, how can you get back in the game? Don't punt on your health, especially now. If you notice things, you're noticing things, you're noticing things with yourself, you're noticing people that are, that are going downhill, there's something you can do about it. You can be proactive, you can get in the game. If any of this resonated with you, please reach out. We'd love to help you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good morning and good night.